and I'm majoring in some. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey guys. guys! Welcome back to our channel. Um, today we're doing a college pep talk slash how to get into college, what to do. So we're gonna just be talking about all that and giving you guys some tips and everything. Yeah. Um, the disclaimer for this is the fact that we're mainly talking about UCs and Cal States. Um, because that's basically what where we, apply we both to. apply to, but it might apply to private colleges um, and any other college, but we're mainly focusing on those two kinds of uh, school systems. I applied to Cal State Long Beach, UC Irvine, UCLA, UC Berkeley, UC San Diego. Okay, I applied to Cal State Long Beach, UCLA, UC San Diego, and UC Irvine, and I got accepted into three, and then I didn't get accepted into UCLA, but it's okay. I got accepted into four, and I didn't get accepted into Cal State Long Beach. Why? <laughs> Story time! <laughs> um, basically, I... Our school is a combination of middle school and high school. So when they asked me how many years did I attend my high school, I, well, they didn't say high school, but, but how many years did you attend that school? Um, I put six years because I was thinking they're asking middle school and high school, but they're only asking about high school. So now Casting Long Beach thinks I attended high school for six years and I did not get accepted. I didn't get accepted into UCLA because I'm stupid. <laughs> no! No! I'm not, she, I'm not smart enough for their engineering program. Her engineering program is really competitive, so I didn't get accepted into that. Okay. Because I applied as engineering. Well, yeah. She applied as engineering. For UCLA, you didn't have the, the subject test. Oh, yeah. And my SAT score wasn't that well either. I got a s we 1270. Got oh, yeah. I got a 1270. You got a 1280? Yeah. Our scores were not very good. No, our no. scores are like, yeah. But we're the living proof that even though your SAT score might not be like super crazy and like a 1600, you can still get into schools like any like UC schools. Yeah, you just have to do good in yeah. school, like get A's. Yeah, it's not A's. just about the SAT. There's yeah. other stuff that factor into it, obviously. So now we're gonna talk about, oh, I'm also majoring. I put myself in as biochemistry. Okay, so she applied a lot of things though. She biochemistry, did, but to UC Irvine, I put chemical engineering. Yeah, and all of mine, I did civil engineering, but for mm -hmm. UCSD, I did structural engineering because they didn't have civil engineering as one of their majors. Alrighty, so now we're gonna talk about basically our scores and like what we did throughout high school that we put on our application to get ourselves in. For you, her, she's a really good essay writer, so I think her essays are what really got her into the school. I think that's what. Really because I read hers, or she read one of hers, and because it was an assignment for class, and it was really good. So I think hers were more based off of my personal statements. Yeah, and I think mine were more based off of your grades. Yeah, my GPA. Um, for grades, I yeah I have A's and B's, and I was fifth ranking. And then for you, um, I got A's, but I got a couple B's in my ninth grade year and my seventh grade year because I took algebra one in seventh grade and I got a B in that class because yeah I didn't know negatives and positives and I was ranked two. We were pretty good academic wise. We we're yeah. strong. Now we're gonna talk about extracurriculars. I did color guard yeah. and that's my sport and my performing art. Um, I was captain of it. As of like being an officer, um, I was key club historian. I co-started and uh, and president of UNICEF club. I was vice president for Red Cross and MAP historian and historian of NHS. Me, I wasn't in a sport because I don't know. I just didn't want to be. Yeah, I didn't want to yeah, be. I don't like wrong with that. competition and everything. But um, so I was historian for Key Club for three years. Um, that's just taking pictures and posting on social media and everything. And then Red Cross, I was historian for one year, but then we didn't do anything in Red Cross, so I just stopped doing that. I was also co-founder, more her, of UNICEF, and I was also the vice president for two years, and then I was the MAP historian for two years. MAP, MAP is like an academic program at our school, and then I was president for that my senior year. Yeah, that's it. That's all I did. 
Um, no, that was a lot. Yeah, we and had a math tutor. Oh yeah. yeah. Were you too? Oh yeah, yeah. she's tutor. For a little bit. She's still a math tutor. That's basically what we did for high school. And we took lots of APs. Eleven. We both yeah. took eleven. Eleven. I feel like yeah. it just got harder each year. And actually, surprisingly, senior year was hardest out of all the years. For yeah, sure. Junior year was super easy. Yeah, junior year so was not easy. And that bad. senior year was terrible. It was so like usually last uh, junior year I took four. I took four. Yeah, yeah, four um, AP classes, and it was okay. Like everything was fine and it was easy and everything. Yeah. And then senior year I took five AP classes, but the classes were so mm -hmm. hard. So we should talk about the college application process. Yeah. So FAFSA opens up October 1st and it ends June 30th, I think. So mm -hmm. it's a it's like a first come first serve thing. FAFSA is like the scholarships and grants and loans. Um, they give you free money. Yeah, apply. Sign up as soon as it opens. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because it's first come first serve apparently. And maybe it's not. But. Um, you might think like, oh, I could just do it like a few days later or whatever. But you need a lot of information. So to get that information and to fill out the documents and like the online application and stuff takes a while because you're gonna have to ask your parents for all this stuff. I'll say Long Beach. I think their applications open uh earlier October October first. Yeah, earlier until November thirtieth. And then UC schools, they open up November 1st to yeah. November 30th. So mm -hmm. UCs only have a month, but Cal States have a very long time. Oh, and once you graduate, July 1st is when you have to send in your official transcript. So talk to your school about that. Yeah, and then if they send it for you or if you have to actually send, send it, it yourself. And then July 15th is when you have to send in all your AP scores. But when you fill out, your, when you take your very last AP test or like that year, you just fill out the form of what school you're going to on your Scantron for the AP test and that sends it to all your schools. Yeah, and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. Apply it to a broad range yeah. of schools. So apply, apply to like three you know you're going to get into for sure and that you're okay with going to and like maybe three harder schools that yeah. are... It's like, like a farther stretch of yeah. you actually like, getting into. Yeah, because just saying like, make sure you apply to colleges that you have something to fall back on. Because yeah. if you don't then you're just gonna, you ha you're like playing a game of like, a risky game of like whether or not you're gonna make it in. So yeah, don't just focus on and like stress your academics, like if you're really strong academics and you feel like yeah. you don't have to do any extracurriculars, that's not true. Or if you have like good test scores, don't mm -hmm. just focus on that and yeah. back off on, like back up on that. Mm -hmm. Focus on other yeah, things. Yeah, be more well-rounded well and have a lot of things to offer, not just one thing. And um, another tip is make sure that you're you might like delay like thinking about like your major and like what colleges you want to go to don't do that like seriously throughout high school you think to yourself like oh you have a lot of time but you want to keep thinking about it you'll save yourself the stress and the worry and like the anxiety if you just think about it over a period of time instead of leaving it to the last month like i did thanks for listening okay thanks for listening wish like, us comment. luck uh, tell us about your college um, feelings and if you're going to college or if you're not even close to going to college and how you feel about Or college. if you're going into the army or if you're just taking Yeah, and like year. your future plans and or if you're going to high school or if anything like that. Just talk about it. If you have any questions because mm -hmm. we've been through high school. Yeah. We know everything so we can answer We know them. everything. Yeah. Apparently Leave we know everything. Leave questions below and we'll answer them in our next yeah. video. It's like, comment, be, subscribe. It's going to be 10 seconds short because <laughs> one person is going to ask a question. One you, you one person watching us. And person watching us. Please leave us a comment. And we'll answer it. That will be Thanks. dedicated to your question. Yeah, we'll make a video dedicated to you. That's a few 30 minutes subscriber. <laughs> We're just gonna ramble. Like, that's just basically what we did right now. Okay. Anyways. Peace out.